Hi friends, Chitra here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn the Camerla pivot points and how can we enter into the trade based on the R3, S3, R4 and S4 that is Camerla's support and resistance level. So I have already uploaded a video based on Camerla but in that I have explained using the moving averages. So this is only with the support and resistance level that is R3, S3, R4 and S4 levels. This is the nifty spot chart. Okay. The indicator we are going to use is Camarilla that is pivot point daily in that. Okay. Uh, under inputs type there are so many options here. So we have to choose Camarilla. And after that pivot time frame. So uh, as we are doing intraday trading we have to choose the time frame as daily. Okay. So there are weekly, monthly and other options also. So we are going to use only the daily options as we are doing intraday. Okay. So if you use weekly then it will show the uh, you know, higher resistance and uh, support values. And the next is show labels and show prices. Label position should be left. So we can see the values on the left hand side. So if we change this to right, then we can see the values in the right hand side. So we are going to keep this uh, show uh, prices always left. And after that, the line width is 2. Here we are going to use only the S3, S4, R3 and R4. S3 is the support, R3 is the resistance level and S4 is the support 4 and R4 is the resistance 4. Now I am going to explain you how can we enter into the long and the short trade based on uh, R3, S3, uh, R4 and S4 levels. So now the settings is ready. As we are doing intraday, we can choose 5 minutes or even 3 minutes candle in order to enter into the trade. Okay. So no, you should not use any time frame less than 3 minutes. So 3 minutes and 5 minutes will be fine. Okay. So if you go for 3 minutes. Okay. So here, this is the 3 minutes candle. So if the price is below R3, in that case, we can look for P trade. That is selling opportunity. We can look for a short trade here. So below R3. Okay. So below R3. Below R3. Look for P. So as this is the first is the red candle, we have to ignore this candle. Why? Because this particular green candle itself, it's very near to S3. So chances are more for the price to reverse from this level. And we will not enter into the long trade also. Why? Because the price didn't touch the S3 before that itself we got the reversal. So here in this particular level at R3, we got an inverted hammer candle. This is the perfect reversal candle if you are entering into the short trade. So we can keep the high as stop loss. So here. So what will be the SL if you enter into the trade? So this is the stop loss. So this high of this red candle, we can keep it as stop loss if you enter into the P trade. Once this uh, low is broken or taken away, we can enter into the P trade that is short trade. Okay. And what will be the target? The target will be the S3. So if we are booking the target in that case, what we can do is we can keep this S2 and S3 level and R2 and the R1 level in order to book our profits. So we will be entering into the trade if the price is giving a breakdown below R3 and where we will book our profits where we will book our profits at S1, S2 and S3 levels. Okay. And the next is, so we are going to uh, look for one more trade that is the CE trade. So S3 breakdown trade will not be entered into the trade uh, as part of Camarilla. So we will be entering into the long trade only above S3 that is long trade here. All right. Above S3 look for C. Above S3, look for CE. So once this high is broken, that is taken away, above S3, we will be entering into the long trade. So what will be the stop loss? Stop loss is the low of this particular uh, doji candle. So this is a perfect reversal candle if you are entering into the long trade. 
So again, what will be the target? The target, first target will be R1, second target will be R2, the next, the third target is R3. So once the price crosses above S3, in that case, we will be entering into the long trade for the target of R3. So we got two uh, trades, that is one is PE trade and one is C trade. This is how we have to enter into the trade based on Camarilla. All right. Next, we can see how can we enter into the trade based on the R4 breakout and S4 breakdown. Okay. So till now we have seen like if the price is at R3, we are looking for short trade and if the price is at S3, that is at support, we will be looking for the long trade. Now, if the price is at R4, in that case, we will be looking only for buying opportunity that is above S4. Only C trade above R4. So the time frame is 3 minutes. You can use either 3 minutes or 5 minutes time frame as we are doing intraday trading. Okay. So the price opened exactly at R4 that is 51077. Okay. First is the red candle. So we have to wait for the you know, uh, market to settle down. And after that, the third candle that is 921 candle is a green candle. So enter long trade above uh, no, this uh, level. So enter C. All right. So what will be the stop loss? The stop loss will be the low of this green candle. So this is the stop loss. Okay. So you can enter C above this green candle and the stop loss will be the low of this green candle. So we will be entering long above here. Okay, so what can be the target? So in order to book the target, what we can do is we can, uh, as we are entering into the bank nifty trade, you can book your profits according to your RR ratio, that is according to your risk reward. Else, one more uh, no uh, resistance level we can keep, that is S5 and R5. This is only for booking your profits, okay, R5 and S5. So if you enter into the trade, the, the R5 is very near. So you can book your profits or you can keep trailing your profits as we got the R4 breakout trade. All right. So if the price is above R4, you, have, you are only looking for the long opportunity. That is the overall trend is looking bullish. Okay. So now we can see if the price is opening at S4, that is below S4, we are looking for a short trade. So the price is at S4 here. So price below S4, that is support for look for PE trade. All right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So we can see here that is the first, uh, you know, first red candle opened below S3 and closed below S4. So as this is a big red candle, we can ignore this candle because the stop loss is, you uh, know, very big. So after that, uh, after a small retracement, that is, we can see, you uh, know, two, three green candles. And after that, this part, this is a perfect red candle for entering into the short trade. That is 936 candle. So enter into the short trade below the low of this red candle. Stop loss is high of this red candle. So as I told you, if you enter into the trade at S4, R4 means the next target can be R5. And after that, you can keep trailing your profits according to your RR ratio. So as you are entering your trade here below S4, you can keep your target as S5. That is the next support level. And we can see that price took support at S4, S5. Okay, so you are entering the trade here. That is at 936 candle, low of this candle. You can keep a horizontal uh, ray below this candle. Okay, and after that you can uh, keep stop loss here. That is stop losses. That is high of this particular red candle. You can keep the SL. And once you enter into the trade, you can keep trailing your profit still S5. So below S4, you are always looking for a short trade. And after that, above S3, you will be looking for a long trade. So in on this particular day, we got one PE trade and after, uh, above S3, according to Camarilla, we will be looking for a long trade for the target of R3. We got that trade also. And above R4 breakout, we will be looking for a long trade for the target of R5. On that day, price didn't touch the R4, but once you enter into the trade, you can book your profits according to your RR ratio. Okay, so this is how we have to enter into the trade according to the camera lab. Hope this video is useful to you. 
please don't forget to like share and subscribe click the bell icon too for my upcoming video notifications thank you for watching